Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and this is this month's housing market report for Myrtle Beach for the month of August, looking ahead into September. And right now we're going to jump into the data that matters. There's a lot of stuff that people talk about on the internet, all kinds of stuff, but really this is the data that matters the most when you're trying to make informed decisions about buying or selling your next home. And that's why this is the information and the metrics that we are covering. So with that being said, we're going to be looking specifically at Myrtle Beach. We could look at Myrtle's Inlet, Georgetown, Conway, Aner, surrounding areas. But for the sake of efficiency and time, we're going to look just at the data for Myrtle Beach. If you're interested in any of those surrounding areas and you want to shop the advantages and disadvantages of different areas, for one, we cover a lot of data here on this channel that could be helpful with that such as this video, Living in Myrtle Beach. But there's two specific things that you could do. One, if you want to receive these reports for free to your inbox weekly, this data that we're going to look at today updates every seven days, then my contact information is down in the description. Just send me a message. I need your email address, and these will come directly to your email address every week for free. But secondly, if you want to get answers now and quickly, again, all of my contact information is down in the description. I would love to have a conversation with you to help guide you in any way that I can, whether you're looking to buy or sell in any of these areas that surround the Myrtle Beach area. But for the sake of this video today, for the sake of these market reports, we are looking at Myrtle Beach. And with that being said, let's dive right into the data. Now, the first thing that I want to point out is that median list prices at $460,246 are slightly lower than it has been in four years. But what's more important is when you're talking about home prices is the price per square foot and in Myrtle Beach, they've been relatively stable for three years now, right now sitting in an average of $228 per square foot. Now, with these reports, you can segment the market into the four different segments. And if you look, the highest market segment, that is the top 90-day average for Myrtle Beach, the price per square foot is $100 more per square foot. So a significant increase in home prices per square foot for the top segment of our market here in Myrtle Beach. Likewise, with the lower 90-day and the bottom 90-day segments of our market, you can see that it's a little bit lower, still significantly really, at about $20 per square foot lower. All right, so that's just something to consider. If you get your hands on these reports, keep that in mind. Segment the market for the market segment that you are in. But for the sake of casting a broad net to the entire area and being able to reach all prospective sellers and buyers, the average as a whole for Myrtle Beach is $228 per square foot, which is around where we've been for the last three years. Now to really start to get down to more of the meat of our local housing market, one thing to look at is inventory. And you will notice that inventory has been climbing since spring of 2022, and that trend is still continuing moving into the second half of 2024, where our inventory levels are currently higher than they've been since this time in 2020. So that's very encouraging for home buyers. There's a lot more inventory on the market for you to shop currently than there has been for the most part over the last few years. Now, the two things to really look at and consider in regards to our housing market, regardless if you're a seller or a buyer, is this. For one, the average days on market has been decreasing since the end of March, and we should expect that to continue until we get into October, November, basically the fall as we start to move into the holiday season. And right now, that trend that we've seen over recent years appears to be holding true again for 2024. So that's definitely something to keep in mind for you home sellers is that the window of the average days on market being shorter is starting to close. So we're in September now as of next week, and that's really going to be the last great month to get your home out there and get that maximum exposure while the average days on market statistically, cyclically, is going to be a little bit lower than what you're going to expect to face if you try to come into the market anytime later than that. And we're really already at the back end of the window anyways. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, properties with a price decrease has been on the rise since spring. And I think what happens a lot of times is the hottest time of the market being spring all the way through the fall, kind of like what we were just referring to. A lot of times home sellers will opt to raise their home prices to get max value out of the house, but they end up having to decrease that price oftentimes to get it sold. And so this year being no different, properties with a price decrease has been on the rise from about 41% 
which is still a little bit on the higher side for that target number of 30% since April. And that's still increasing, but properties with a price decrease currently is higher than what we've seen in years. Just over 50% of the properties that get listed in Myrtle Beach are having to reduce their price to get the home sold. So it's definitely something to consider and factor in for you home sellers. This is the kind of data that is relevant in your decision making when you're looking to list your home. Now, this stuff's also relevant for buyers as well. But right now I'm just speaking to you home sellers that these are the metrics that you need to be looking at and considering when you're thinking about your pricing strategy in relation to what your goals are, meaning the tension between how quickly you want to sell the home against what you want to get in return in terms of your bottom line. These are the type of metrics. This is the type of data that your realtor should be going over with you during your listing presentation, during your conversations, during your consultations about selling your home before entering the market. These are the data points that really help drive the decision making to begin with. So I can't imagine how you come to conclusions without looking at these things. That's why we do this. That's why we do these market updates and put this information out there for free to the public because hopefully you will find this information helpful in your decision making. Now, if you have found this video helpful, please give it a like. It helps us out a lot and we really do appreciate it. Also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Obviously we've talked a little bit about the projections. You can look at these reports and kind of get an idea of some of the cyclical nature of our market here and see where we could expect things to go. Now we do have the variable with mortgage rates all in the headlines talking about how they are going down. It'll be interesting to see how that variable impacts our local housing market. But the plan will be to circle back around next month and take a look at where we are a month from now, maybe a little bit less since we're doing this one at the back end of August. But either way, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if this is of interest to you so that you can stay abreast of that information whenever we release those future videos. And in the immediate, if you're looking to sell your home, definitely consider the window that's closing. September is pretty much pretty much the last month for 2024 in a lot of respects to enter the market with the most favorable circumstances for you as a home seller. Any point after that, you're really looking at punting into the spring of 2025. Now, granted, if you've got to sell your home, you've got to sell it. And so it's really important to have the right pricing strategy, the right strategy overall as you're entering the marketplace. Let's take a look at exactly what the data suggests what the circumstances suggest for your home for you to have the best experience as you place it into the marketplace. And for you home buyers, there are a lot of advantages moving in your direction right now, especially if these inventory trends continue uh, with inventory climbing, not just in Myrtle Beach, but in the surrounding areas. So if you're shopping the Myrtle Beach area, you wanna look at the advantages and disadvantages to other areas, you wanna get into the data, you want to do some home valuations, see what makes the most sense for you. Then again, my contact information is is down in the description of this video. You can reach out to me today and we can set up a complimentary buyer's consultation. So again, I hope you find this information helpful. If you want to receive these reports, they come out weekly. They are free. All you got to do is send me your email address and I will get them over to you. And so I look forward to hearing from y'all. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.